everyone so I am going to do a grooming video um, for your horse so here I have Mason and he's just tied to a tree which is obviously a strong enough tree that if he pulls on it he's not gonna pull the whole tree down <laughs> there you go he's a little, little bit like um, looking around because there's um, Mason there and another horse there so um, he's a little bit you know, looking at stuff, but, um, yeah, so I guess we'll get started. He's mostly, um, you know, pretty well brushed or groomed already, but, um, if your horse is muddy, you want to use a curry comb. Um, they come in all different shapes, sizes. Um, this one is a rubber curry comb, and this one's a more plastic one. I personally prefer the rubber curry combs because they're really, really, um, comfortable for you and also your horse so you just try and get the camera to focus okay so um, you can either use it like a normal brush like this or you can do it in circles in the direction the hair goes so here's a little bit of mud here just get all that hair out it's the t it's almost well it's just the start of spring now so um, the horses are molting getting ready for summer aren't you You're a good boy all right so then once you're finished with your curry comb and that you've done all the mud if they're still looking pretty muddy he's going to the toilet <laughs> sorry guys um, you can use a brush like this which is a dandy brush and you use it the same as you would any brush just running it in the direction of the comb this is very um, firm hairs and made use come on use it for um, getting mud off come on just gotta get him to back up okay get yourself in trouble right and then you want to use a body brush which if your horse wasn't muddy you can just start off with your body brush so you want to be brushing in the direction the hair grows it's all right brush down the legs all over make sure if you're especially if you're riding you really want to get underneath um, where the girth goes to make sure that there's no mud or dirt or any prickles that are going to hurt him when he's um, being has a saddle on. So you want to get go down the legs and just remove all the mud that you can. And then you want to do his feet. So, or her feet with a hoof kick. This one has a brush on it as well. Mac, do you think you'd be able to video for me while I do the feet? Okay, so my sister's just gonna come and hold the camera because I can't really hold his foot, pick, and video at the same time. So I didn't really think about that before I made the video, but luckily I have a helper here. Um, you just tap to focus if you need to like that. Okay, so you wanna um, you can, it doesn't matter if you get my face as well. You can start at the top of the leg and you want to run your hand down all the way down the leg and ask them to pick up. If they don't pick up, pull on their fetlock, which is the deepest hair. Um, get really in the foot. You want to steer clear of this bit here, which is the frog. <laughs> I thought that was another horse there. Get up. Um, if your horse tries to nibble on your bum, um, try and make sure that they don't do that. And you just want to get all the dirt out, especially right here. And you really, this is really important to do before you um, ride. And then you just let him put his foot down. Because if there's any, I'll just do one of the back feet for the video. Um, the back feet, it's the same thing. Up. Then bring it forward. These feet are pretty clean already. 
and because it's just been winter their frogs are a bit exfoliating but just make sure that especially in that time when it's really wet you really want to get a barrier and make sure that you've got a barrier to look at their feet but you should get a farrier to come in roughly once a month for a trim the farrier came about a week ago so their feet are really trimmed nicely but as the summer months um, dry out a lot of the water that's been um, you know um, in the ground their frogs should um, firm up and solid up here's padfoot so then whoop, <laughs> I don't know if I got that on camera but Monty <laughs> bumped into the tree got a little bit of a fright but <laughs> that's okay and then you either want to use a smaller comb or a bigger comb like this I find the bigger comb just does the job a lot faster to comb out their mane that's right okay so Mason has a very thick mane so you just want to start just like if you've got long hair you know how to do this um, sorry you want to start at the bottom of the hair then work your way up his hair is pretty um, easy to manage but if your horse's hair is very tangly you might want to add in some conditioner or like um, any type of thing like that that you have for your horse just to help get the tangles out um, so you do that all the way up the mane I'm not going to show you because this video will go forever trying to get the camera to focus all right and then it's the same thing with the forelock some horses don't care some horses just don't really like you playing around their face but you need to do it because you don't want big mang um, mats in their hair I'm sorry I'm not doing a very good job because it's kind of hard with one hand and I'm, hopefully it's focusing for you guys I think what's really funny about Mason I, it's not really funny but he's he's got a star with a stripe and it looks really funny when he's um, forelock is not covering it <laughs> to looking at um, the thing with horses is that oops the thing with horses is that you never you know no, you never want um, you know any sort of sores or like anything like that because um, they are very um, you know important possessions and you never want to take shortcuts to um, you know save time for you because they always end up um, taking much longer for you. Come on. Stand up, buddy. Good boy. Um, so you always want to, if it, even if it's going to take you two minutes longer, come on. Do, and, but it's going to be better. Whoop. Sorry, I didn't realise there was a rock there. <laughs> He's moving around and I didn't want to get in the way of him. <laughs> but there was a rock there and I didn't realise. <laughs> um, so anyway, what am I saying? If it's going to take you two minutes longer, just always take the time to do the best job you can because they are very important. And um, always treat your um, horses as your most prized possession because they really are. So yeah. Also, if you're going to be riding, make sure you never take shortcuts in grooming before because if your horse is uncomfortable, um, they're definitely going to let you know because um, if they if he's hurt then he's going to be bucking around and you know telling you that he's sore I know he's a little bit skinny but he's putting on weight but yeah anyway I hope that video is helpful if you have any questions let me know I'm sorry I sort of didn't really know what I was saying there <laughs>
didn't know what I was trying to say, but anyway. Um, if you want any more, like, how-to videos, just let me know and I'll do it. And if you want, like, any videos on the horses, just let me know. So, yeah. Say bye, Mason. Bye, buddy. Alright, bye, everyone.